On this crisp fall Sunday afternoon, more than 100 officials and residents came together at the Poolsville Presbyterian Church to commemorate the lynching of 22-year-old George Peck, an African-American man who was accused of assaulting a white child. His case was never brought to trial. Lynching such as his would become a hallmark of the post-reconstruction period ushering in decades of racial terrorism. At the ceremony, poetry was read by Poolsville and Kennedy High School students, and Councilmember Hans Riemer presented a proclamation on behalf of the entire council. And whereas the Equal Justice Initiative of Montgomery, Alabama, the Montgomery County historians have documented that George W. Peck, John Diggs, and Sidney Randolph were lynched in Montgomery County, Maryland. As part of the ceremony, students carried jars labeled with Peck's name across the street from the church where it's believed the lynching took place. As the only encore singers harmonized, those in attendance were invited to take a scoop of dirt and place it in the jar. This year, the council established the Remembrance and Reconciliation Commission, its goal to bring the community and agencies together to support the Equal Justice Institute's memorial project. One of the jars of dirt will travel to Montgomery, Alabama to be displayed as part of the memorial to the more than 4,000 documented lynching victims. Sunday's ceremony was designed to advance healing and reconciliation across Montgomery County. Montgomery County government had a role in the history that brought us here. We, this was a slave-holding community. This was a community that um, embraced lynching and, and racial terrorism and then segregation. So Montgomery County has a long and uh, awful history with race. Um, you know, we strive to be better. We strive to create the kind of community that we all want to live in today. But. We need to really understand how we got here. It, it really is good to see that we're honoring our history, uh, and by honoring it, uh, bringing to light some of the injustices that were uh, had by uh, many people on our people of color, uh, on our black community. And so um, for folks to come together and recognize and try and make right uh, by doing this, uh, is, is, a, is, a, is, is definitely an uplifting moment for us here in Montgomery County. An angry mob robbed George Peck of justice, and today a mob of people, but a friendly community group came together to try to bring a little piece of justice back. And I think that really is what reconciliation and what remembrance is all about. And the reason it's so important is because if you don't know your history, you're doomed to repeat it. And the legacy of racism, which dehumanized black people in this country, uh, and slavery and Jim Crow still are with us today in the form of mass incarceration and achievement and opportunity gaps and health disparities. And so we have to come and say his name and honor the man, but also remember the history that led to this murder so that we don't uh, do the same thing in the future and that we can correct for our sins in the past.